welcome to today's Fun with Feathers. So Feathers has been having a lovely time here. She's been playing with her bath animals. So these are the toys that she has in the bath with her. Oh, Feathers, you've got some good toys there, haven't you? Yes. Oh, so today we are going to be listening to a story and singing some songs and making a craft about a sea creature. We are. Can you guess which sea creature it is? Can you? I Feathers, it's one of them that is on here. So maybe we could play a guessing game. Maybe you could ask me some questions and I could say yes or no. Okay? Go ahead. Right. Can this animal walk? Well, Feathers, the answer is no. The animal cannot walk. So we can take away Mr. Crocodile and the penguin. Ask me another question, Feathers. Does this animal have fins? Does the animal have fins? The answer, Feathers, is no. So that takes away the dolphin and the whale. So now we've got two left. We've got a seahorse and an octopus. Oh, so ask me another question then, Feathers. Does this creature have eight legs? Well, Feathers, the answer to that is yes. It does have eight legs. So what animal is that, Feathers? Which one is it? The seahorse or the octopus? Can you guess? Do you know at home, children? Do you? Shout it out. Is it an octopus or a seahorse? What is it? Did you hear, Feathers? What is it? That's right. It's the octopus. So we are going to be making a craft about an octopus. We are going to be reading this book here, Octopus Soctopus by Nick Sherat. And we are going to be starting our time together with a little sing song about some sea animals. So let's start together. A shark in the ocean goes chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 the shark in the ocean goes chomp, 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 chomp. Now we're going to listen about the turtles, okay? In the ocean goes snap, 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 snap. The turtles in the ocean go snap, 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 snap. The crab in the ocean goes click, 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 click. The crab in the ocean goes click, 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 click. And this is the one we're learning about today, an octopus. The octopus in the ocean goes wibble, wobble, wibble, wibble, wobble, wibble. Wibble wobble wibble, the octopus in the ocean goes wibble wobble wibble, wibble wobble wibble. The clam in the ocean goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clam in the ocean goes open and shut, open and shut. One more, now for the seahorse. The seahorse in the ocean goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The seahorse in the ocean goes back and forth, back and forth. Well done, everybody. That was really good singing and actions. Well done, well done. So we are now going to be moving on to make our craft together today. So for that, you will need four lolly sticks. There we go, you're gonna hold them for me feathers. Mine are blue, but yours can be any color that they like to be. And then a piece of card, okay. 
feathers, don't be cheeky. You will need, I'm not gonna give you these because they'll go everywhere. You will, you will need some little wiggly eyes here. I don't know if you can see the little wiggly eyes or if not, you can draw them on. If you don't have them, it's fine. You will need some craft safe scissors. You will need a pencil and some glue and for some added effects, some sequins, some round sequins. Oh, you are not having them if you need them. There is one challenge at the moment though, which I'm gonna to set to feathers, to go and find something round to draw around. So small and round to draw around. Go and see what you can find, feathers. So while feathers is going to get me that, you can um, get your lolly sticks and we're gonna to start to glue them together. So as we heard earlier in Feather's story, they have, what's this? Oh, Feather's bought me her wow. Okay, that's really good, Feather's. Now, unfortunately, this is a lovely present, Feather's, but the wow is not round. Ah, oh, don't worry, Feather's, we all get things wrong. It needs to be like a circle. Thank you, Feather's. So, as we remember earlier, the octopus has eight legs. So, we are now going to get our lolly sticks to make it like it's got eight legs. So, I'm just going to get my glue open here. Oh, well done, Feathers. This is exactly what I need. Feathers has brought me some sellotape there. And Oh! <laughs> that is exactly what I needed. That was a bit of a surprise, wasn't it? Okay, well at least my glue is open now. Oh dear, look at that. Well, I'll leave that there. Good job I put something on the table to stop the glue. <laughs> I know feathers. Good job I put something on the table to make sure that it doesn't, um, that it didn't go everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of the glue that's gone on here. So, here we go. I'm just gonna glue a little bit on there, as you'll see, and then stick on my lolly sticks together so they're in like a cross shape there okay and then i'm going to put a little bit of glue on top of that one just a little bit like this yeah um feathers you stay away from the glue cheeky and then i'm going to put it across ways like that there we go so i'm almost going to make like a little star yeah so then a little bit more glue on top of here Okay, that's it. And then, so that goes across like that. Can you see what that looks like there? So I'm gonna just leave that on the side there to dry. And now I'm going to take this uh, piece of sellotape here that Feather's got for me, and I'm going to draw around it on my piece of paper using my pencil. And draw around it there. So we've got a circle that looks something like that. And now I'm going to use my scissors to cut that circle out. So what do we say when we're holding um, scissors, Feathers? We say, parents, we've got scissors. So we ask our parents to come and supervise us because we have something sharp and we wanna make sure that, um, that we're safe in doing that. So that's right, we say, parents, come and help. So I'm going to cut out my circle here and this is going to be the octopus's smiley face yes that's right so there we go that's my round circle there so i'll just pop that now and then i'm going to take some glue and pop that on the back of the feathers is very sad because she wants me to give her the glue but i've learned that giving feathers glue is not always the best thing to do so as you'll see now, that's my octopus's body. And then I am going to take my wiggly eyes here. Wiggly eyes, that's, that's good dancing feathers. I like that. You are a good dancer. And I'm going to pop on the wiggly eyes just here. Okay. So two, oh, two smiley eyes just there. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we are going 
to put something called tentacles on our octopus. So if you look, I wonder if your octopus has it, Feathers. Yes, it does. So if you look on the back of Feathers', Feathers octopus, you'll see these little suckers here. And they're called tentacles and they help the octopus to grip. So we are going to use some sequins to act like tentacles on the back of our octopus. So I'm going to decorate their legs with lots of sequins. So they'll have lots of suckers to be able to manoeuvre around the ocean. So Feathers, what should we name our octopus? What do you think? What's that? I didn't hear that. What did you say? <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good name. Stretchy. Stretchy the octopus. Yeah, because octopuses do have to have long, stretchy legs. You've got long legs, haven't you, Feathers? Yeah. Not quite eight legs, though. But you do have stretchy legs. So here you'll go. My glue hasn't dried yet, but you'll see that on the back, I've got the tentacles there. And then when you turn over your octopus you will see that there so and now all that's left for me to do is to give my octopus a nice little smiley mouth with my pen there we go so here we go i have stretchy the octopus and now we are going to go and read a lovely story about different kinds of octopuses called octopus octopus by Nick Sherat. Should we go and read that now, Feathers? Okay, come and join us then, kids. Octopus Soctopus by Nick Sherat. Octopus Soctopus. Goldilocktopus. Cuckoo Clocktopus. Tick Toctopus. Toffee Choctopus Scary Shocktopus Ooh. Chicken Poctopus Send for the Doctopus Helicoptopus Punk Rocktopus Furry octopus, eight wheeled octopus, party froctopus. How many legs has she got? <gasps> Knickerbocktopus, knock noctopus, <gasps> chocoblocktopus. And that is the end of our story today. Okay, so it's been lovely to be with you today, kids. And um, remember to share some pictures of your creations with us because we really love to see them. So you can post them on our Instagram page, our Facebook page, or you can even email them over to us at families at bonniedowns.org. We'd love to see some pictures of what you've made. So we'll see you again soon, kids. Bye.